Hey, 922 family. This is Pastor Michael. I'm here to give you an encouraging message from God's Word as we struggle with this uh, coronavirus. We are sitting at home. We're, we're isolated, which makes my encouragement today sound especially strange. Don't isolate yourself. I know that sounds odd. Yes, you should practice social distancing. You should be smart. You don't want to get this virus. You don't want to spread this virus. But what I mean by that is don't cut yourself off from other human beings. Uh, it can be really detrimental to your emotional health, your physical health, and of course your spiritual health too. There was a study done about four years ago that shows that isolating yourself from other people affects your health your physical health, about as much as smoking 15 cigarettes per day. God did not intend for us to be cut off from other people. We are social creatures. So be careful not to isolate yourself. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11, it says, Encourage one another and build one another up, just as in fact you are doing. So even during this time where we have to stay in our homes, we need to encourage each other. We need to not isolate, but to be together. Well, not physically, but, but in other ways. We, more than ever, need meaningful contact. We need people who will speak God's word of truth to us. We need prayerful confession and people to assure us that we are, in fact, forgiven. We need regular contact with other people. So can I ask you to do this? Could you make two phone calls today? Number one, would you call someone that you think might be isolating themselves or are in danger of that? And would you give them a word of encouragement and pray with them? And the second phone call I would like you to make, call someone that you especially know and trust and tell them how you really are. And again, be, be, be honest and, and listen to what they say. Speak God's word of truth to each other and pray with each other. So call someone in need and call someone that can help you in your need. And then one more thing, if you would maybe try to initiate a group discussion, you can use any kind of platform for that, FaceTime, Google Hangouts, Skype, uh, whatever works best for you. Uh, try to reach out to a group of friends and just connect and laugh and have fun, but also take some time to remember what God says in his word and to encourage each other and to pray together. If there is any way that I can help during this time, please don't hesitate to connect with me. Um, if I can provide some kind of tech support or if you're looking for someone to connect to, um, I'm happy to do that. Know that your, that your pastors are praying for you, that, that we love you, and that we're here for you no matter what. Can I pray for you now? Dear Heavenly Father, uh, this, uh, these are unprecedented times. Uh, it's so easy for us to, to be isolated but Lord, help us to fight that and to intentionally connect with other Christians. Help us to encourage and support each other now more than ever. Help us to confess our sins to each other and to listen when a brother or a sister assures us that in Christ all of our sins are truly forgiven. Lord, thank you for fellow Christians, for the body of believers that you have placed us in, that we can grow in our faith through our connections with others. Lord, bless us, bless our uh, country, bless the world as we fight this virus, provide healing if that is your will, give strength to those who are on the front lines, and Lord, through all of this, build and grow your church. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.